MotoGP mania has come to Mandalika as we get set for the first Grand Prix of Indonesia in a quarter of a century. Who will rock in Lombok? It's time to race in MotoGP. It's wonderful Indonesia, but sadly, it is now a wet Indonesia. The torrential rain that we feared was going to strike and hit this beautiful island of Lombok just before the start of the MotoGP race. More sadly, the forecasts were absolutely spot on. We are now getting torrential rain falling over this all new Pertamina Mandalika circuit. First Indonesian Grand Prix in 25 long years. Our last visit to the Central Circuit in Jakarta back in 1997. Who who will be the rain master of Mandalika here in MotoGP? MotoGP action underway in, in Indonesia. Big wheel off the line there for Jorge Martin in second place. Storming star from Miguel Oliveira on the number 88 factory KTM. Quattro the pole man gets the whole shot, but Oliveira up into third. Brilliant launch there from the third row right by Miguel Oliveira. He started seventh and immediately slots himself in to second place behind Fabio Quattro. Here he is then starting from that third row in seventh place. What an electric trick start he had. This was the platform, the foundation for his victory challenge. Miguel Oliveira powers his way out of the final corner and eases past Fabio Quattararo. Here comes Jack Miller up the inside of Miguel Oliveira into turn 10 and he's got that move stuck. That's brilliant by the Ducati man. We thought he was going to be a big, big contender in these rain conditions. These are conditions that the Thriller Miller revels in. Oliveira just struggling for pace. He went a little bit wide there. Then he coming through turn number 11. Thought he was going to get swallowed up by Fabio Quattararo. I think Miguel Oliveira will be quite comfortable to sit there in second place as long as he can still see the road ahead of him he'll be quite happy just to sit there if he feels he's got the pace later on in this Grand Prix here, we go. here comes Oliveira that's the battle for the race lead and it's now in the advantage of the Portuguese man Miguel Oliveira snaps off the inside of Jack Miller coming into turn 12 Oliveira looks visibly faster than Jack Miller he looked like he had a bit more pace behind him it's going to feel like a long long 15 laps as Oliveira starts to try and make a crucial break here Francesco Guidotti what an amazing start to his tenure as the Red Bull KTM Factory Racing Team Manager. Miguel Oliveira reeling off yet another fastest lap. This is unbelievable pace. We heard about the fantastic grip levels here in the rain conditions in Mandalika. A 139.801 now from Oliveira. That is only 8.8 .8 seconds slower than slick tyre pace. Here he is, clear visor as we see the concentration from the Portuguese. No one so far has been able to keep the pace of the magnificent Miguel Oliveira who's just a few corners away now from a crucial and very well-deserved victory. Here we go then, Miguel Oliveira, just a couple of corners left for him in this first Indonesian Grand Prix in 25 years. It has been well worth the wait. Miguel is the man in Mandalika, a famous win here for KTM in our first Indonesian Grand Prix in a quarter of a century. There's joy and jubilation down at KTM. His crew chief there, Paul Trabadon, he's buzzing. First winners of brand new circuits, there. Miguel Oliveira, the dominance of Portimao. The checkered flag comes out here in Portugal, Miguel Oliveira wins at home for Tech 3 on the KTM. He was the master in Mandalika this afternoon. So our first visit to Indonesia ends in joy and triumph for the factory KTM team. Emotionally, it was a roller coaster. That was a brilliant ride by Miguel Oliveira. Absolutely brilliant performance. It's really emotional. I promised my daughter I would get her a trophy from <laughs> from Indonesia, so this one is for you, baby. He did say he was going to take home a trophy for his new daughter. Well, he's been a man true to his word. Miguel Oliveira, then, he is your race winner. It took us 25 years, but he was certainly worth the wait. And magnificent Miguel mastered the wet conditions in Mandalika this afternoon. He did rock Lombok. Huge congratulations. What a way for MotoGP to return to Indonesia in Mandalika.